Hello guys, today I'm again back with another new drug approved by FDA in 2020 and that drug is a tyrosine kinase inhibitor called as salumitinib. And guys, salumitinib is an inhibitor of MEK1 and 2 um, protein kinase inhibitor that is mitogen activated protein kinase 1 and 2 inhibitor. So how inhibition of MEK1 and 2 gives us anti-cancer effect? First of all, that is what I need you to understand. Now guys, so you can see the pathway, the receptor tyrosine kinase, which uh, there are two pathways here. One is the MEK pathway, this one is the MEK pathway and this one is the uh, PI3K pathway and both of them, they are at the end of the day responsible for cell proliferation and survival. So in some cancers, these pathways are overactivated that gives us neoplasia. For example, this cell proliferation, it is responsible for cancers like melanoma as well as neurofibroma. Right, so what I can do here, specifically this drug for these, for treatment of melanoma or neurofibroma, a class of drug that has been approved, these are called as MEK12 inhibitor. But today the drug I'm talking about, salumitinib, this drug is approved for treatment of neurofibroma, right? So as you can see here, it is approved for treatment of neurofibromatosis type 1, which are symptomatic or uh, which are inoperable, right? And uh, per se, how this drug affects the course of neurofibromatosis, guys, it decreases both the size as well as the number of neurofibromas. Now, the route of administration, like any other tyrosine kinase inhibitor, it is given by oral route and the dosing is based upon the surface area, 25 milligrams per meter square. And it has to be taken on empty stomach, guys. Side effect is not much difficult because being an anti-cancer drug, it gives us the uh, GID side effect like nausea, vomiting and diarrhea. Apart from that, it gives us cardiac side effect like uh, cardiomyopathy, skeletal muscles are affected, rhabdomyolysis, plus it can also cause some of the ocular toxicity. Right, guys, so this is what we have to discuss today. Um, new drug approved by FDA in 2020, that is salumitinib, right, guys, which is approved for treatment of uh, neurofibromatosis type 1. So, guys, I'll keep on posting these new stuffs, new guidelines in my YouTube channel. But so that you are updated on time, guys, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel by clicking on this particular link. Thank you very much, guys. Take care. Bye bye.